I love video games, you love video games, so in an industry forever concerned with blockbuster hype machines, let's break down some of the most pointless and awesome details you really don't need to know, but we'll tell as many people about as possible. I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com and these are 12 pointless video game details that will blow your mind. Number 12. NPCs call relatives if they see something horrible. IO Interactive are the modern day Bethesda in terms of creating believable interconnected clockwork worlds full of NPC animation cycles and various responses to whatever you decide to do. Case in point, NPC reactions. The majority are resigned to freaking out or running for cover if all hell breaks loose, but IO included a number of lengthier phone calls triggered by some characters stumbling upon dead bodies. One involves a businesswoman failing to connect with a friend after finding a murder scene, then ranting about how there's a serial killer on the loose. Another, located on the Paris map, sees a handyman call his mother, saying he needed to hear a friendly voice that could calm him down after coming across a corpse you've left behind. There's a whole set of animations for bodies being dragged away and locations being cleaned up and reset depending on how you're playing, but this being a stealth game, it's super easy to miss all of this. Number 11. Some insane armor detail. Halo 3. Bungie's work on Halo will forever remain the stuff of legend, but did you ever use Halo 3's theater mode to zoom around and really take in the art department's hard work? You'll realize the map Valhalla has a rotation of wall messages that change depending on the time of year, but zoom into a Spartan's armor and you'll find a level of detail reserved just for you. Seeing armor plates scuffed and marked from battle, this additional texture doesn't even fully load until you're all the way zoomed in. It shows Bungie knew people would be using theater mode to get more up close and personal than ever with their soldiers, and they decided to reward you for it. Number 10. Give Snake a shaver and he'll shave. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Hideo Kojima is the king of pointless game details, a crown he earned with Metal Gear Solid 2. Seeing scores of head-turning randomness included in the launch trailer, we watch Snake shoot pages out of magazines, put bullet holes in different enemy limbs, or tip over an ice bucket and watch the cubes melt in real time. While this tech demo feel is largely resigned to the tanker area, the big shell does have a doozy while you're playing as Raiden. Triggered by acquiring the shaver item and giving it to solid Iroquois Pliskin Snake, he'll then appear shaven for the rest of the game, including all cutscenes and even his codec model. Snake kinda looks patently worse like this, and there's no way to get him to sprout some face fuzz after the commitment, but if you prefer a cleaner cut character, go for it. Number 9. Puddles Evaporate Over Time Horizon Zero Dawn Spider-Man might have spawned Puddlegate across 2018 thanks to puddles that differed in size from trailer to gameplay, yes, really, but just one year prior, Puddle Tech was on full display in Horizon Zero Dawn. Similar to how GTA V also features small bodies of water that evaporate over time, Horizon's weather storms will leave behind puddles that slowly fade away if you stand around and watch them long enough. The definition of a pointless game detail, it's still a cool way to convey the passage of time if you're out on a hunt long enough. Number 8. Tinted glasses add a filter to first person. Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, I said Hideo Kojima was the king, but maybe with the billions made from GTA, Rockstar can stake a claim to the random details thrown. Coming amongst the millions of tiny things GTA 5 does to get across its impeccable production, turns out when Rockstar went first person for the PS4 slash Xbox One upgrades, it was more than just a perspective switch. See, if you wear any pair of glasses with a colored tint, flick to first person and this tint will be reflected through your character's eyes. Even better, after about a minute or so, the tint will start to fade, representing your character adjusting to the color the way our own eyes do. Never let it be said that Rockstar haven't thought of everything. Number 7. Max can learn piano throughout the game. Max Payne 3. Max Payne is one of gaming's best written characters, and though at the time we weren't ready for Rockstar's extension of Max's core nihilism, the third installment is easily one of their finest works, and arguably the best playing of the trilogy to boot. In regards to Rockstar knowing they were stepping into the shoes of giants though, Max Payne 3 might have ditched the lone piano theme from Remedy's original games, but it does make a return if you know where to look. Triggered across a series of pianos Max can optionally interact with, throughout the campaign he'll play the wrong notes or otherwise not remember how the theme's supposed to go, until until eventually bringing it all together in the final act. Payne refers to this theme as the soundtrack to my life, and it's only when Max has shaven his hair off and truly stopped caring about being anything other than a dime store angel of death that he's quoted as achieving some actual harmony. To this day, Max Payne 3 features one of Dan Hauser's best scripts, but with the game not even available on backwards compatibility, very few people have experienced it firsthand. Number 6. The original Doomguy skin has scars from 1993. Doom Eternal. 
an incredible detail noticed by Redditor Defective Pikachu, id Software really went all out with fan service in Doom Eternal. Besides the story neatly knitting together all the games so far into one incredibly satisfying canon timeline, equip the original Doom Guy skin and the art department went one better. Though you'll have to have an insane knowledge of the original title's box art to notice in the first place, look to Doomguy's left arm and you'll see the scars directly correlate to when he was grabbed by a demon in 1993's artwork. External story goes to great lengths, mostly through elaborate text entries, to confirm that the original Doom Marine eventually became the intergalactic slayer we know today, and this just further proves it. Number 5. Keanu Reeves is in the audience. Car X Drift Racing Online Keanu Reeves might be one of the hardest working and nicest people in Hollywood, but for a little while he was just known as Sad Keanu. Coming from a random paparazzi shot catching him half eating a sandwich before looking at the ground, this meme went on to be included in a million different contexts, including CarX Technologies CarX Drift Racing Online. Spotted in a variety of locations as one of the many repeat crowd models used to populate tracks and outdoor areas, nowhere to look and you can spy Keanu still enjoying his sandwich, but finally with some company. Number 4. Arthur Morgan's Ears Red Dead Redemption 2 What do you do when you've got access to millions upon millions of dollars in cash, a total that only seems to duplicate with each passing year? Well, if you're Rockstar, you set about crafting one of the most hyper-detailed video games of all time. Practically VR without a headset, play Red Dead Redemption 2 for any length of time and you'll pick up on everything from clothing wear and tear to real-time facial hair growth, trails left from boots in the mud to merchants getting wooden legs if you shot them a week before. In a race to find the most insanely tiny detail though, I present to you the subsurface scattering of light through the most inconsequential of objects. Namely, how ears in Red Dead 2 glow red when backed by a light source. The same technique can be seen in Naughty Dog's more recent Uncharted titles 4 and Lost Legacy 2, both showcasing a level of technical craft that's honestly just showing off at this point. Number 3. Mario 64's artwork is inside Zelda's castle. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time not content with literally inventing the very way we perceive 3D space when locking onto enemies and manoeuvring around them, Ocarina of Time routinely blows minds with new secrets uncovered where you least expect them. One of these can be found right at the beginning of the game when visiting Zelda's castle. Simply take a peek inside one of the rooms and you'll spy a collection of artwork carried across from Mario 64. Featuring a handful of the main cast in super low res, brilliantly in the 3DS remake of Ocarina of Time, this window was updated to a more modern Mario wallpaper complete with warp pipes. Number 2. Two Faces Exposed Veins Actually Move Batman Arkham Knight Yep, today in Things You'd Rather Not See But Can Now Not Stop Staring At, Redditor Current Beyond recently shared footage of the unconscious Two-Face after you've taken him down, lying with pulsating veins repeatedly bulging in time with his heartbeat. It's a staggeringly effective attention to detail, grounding the reality of this Christopher Nolan eyes take on the character, as he really is someone who's had half their face scorched off and just has to live with the consequences. And number 1. You can queue and enter the club like a normal person. Hitman 3 Back to Hitman for the top spot because again IO Interactive are absolute wizards when it comes to fully immersing you in a given play space. Hitman 3 features some of their most intricate levels yet, and once you fire into the ludicrously fun Berlin nightclub level, where you're tasked with taking out 5 or more targets using whatever methods come to mind, it's easy to ditch any sense of decorum and go postal with a fire axe. If you do the exact opposite though and literally play by the rules, you can actually stand in the queue and get into the nightclub in real time. It takes around 45 minutes to eventually gain legal admittance into Club Hall, where you'll be given an entry pass and even some phone stickers to cover your lens, because this club doesn't want the outside world knowing what they're up to. Point being though, if you just want to be a nice little hitman and wait your turn before cleaving someone's face in with a fire extinguisher, feel free. And those have been 12 totally pointless video game details at least I think are super cool. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and please check out the What Culture Gaming podcast. For now, I've been Scott from whatculture.com and I'll catch you soon.